Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy X-2. As you can see, since the last episode I came back down Mount Gagazet. Turns out I went completely the wrong way in the previous episode. Um, you're not even supposed to go up there, up to the place you know where the hot spring and everything is. I didn't even know that this is how you get to this area. Um, yeah, I think I've made this mistake in every single one of my playthroughs of this game that I go the wrong way and I can't find Garrick. Oh well, we're past that now. We are gonna go ahead and... Oops, that is the wrong enemy. I wanna kill this Lupus first because it's actually very strong with its annoying-ass confused attack. So I wanna kill it as quickly as we can. And this thing goes down fairly quickly. Anyways, we're back on track, officially. Um, we'll see how Garrick Ronson, Ronceau himself goes, because... There's quite a possibility that he's gonna, like, absolutely destroy me. But... Yeah, it's not even dealing a lot of damage. I'm hoping that that's not gonna happen. I do have strategies for killing him. It's just, we'll see whether they actually work or not. Hopefully I'm going the right way. I think you fight him um, after the place where you fight Seymour and shit. In 10. Might be a problem. The confuse attack seems to be missing. And I'll gladly take that. I actually think that the versions up the mountain are stronger too. Because these things definitely didn't go down as quickly when I was up there. I'm showing this battle because it's over fairly quickly. Pretty sure this is not the only enemy bomb here, so hopefully we'll see something different as well. Nice work. Anyways, once again, I apologize for the absence of this series. Been busy with Binding of Isaac. I resumed streaming, which is turning out to be a lot of fun. As well as, well, you know, there are some things planned coming up in terms of games. Mainly For Honor is the one I'm looking forward to. It's coming out in two weeks, I think. The 17th, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, before we go on. If you wanna... You know, if you don't think you're strong enough for Garrick, you can use that to teleport back. Which is good. It's good that they gave you an option. Plus, there's a save point there, so... You know, they're not being assholes. Yeah, this is it. Ronzo, hold anger no longer. This guy is a terrible voice actor, Ronzo, by the way. You fearless, go to battle with Guaro. And if I ask you not to go? Mountain tell Ronzo to go. What if you can't go? Summon or not hold Ronzo anger with puny arms. But if I do? You will stop this talk of vengeance. Very well, but Garrick never fall! I actually do like this. Somebody's a few spheres short of a garment grid. Typical Ronso. Good point, but I was talking about Uni. I do like that Uni just goes in and doesn't give a fuck. I mean, at least there's some character development on her. Which is the one thing this game does well. Anyways, we're not gonna go Berserk. I'm not gonna go Berserk because it's not worth it. In case I need to like emergency heal with Yuna or something like that, we don't want her uncontrollable. We can attack. Oops, I should have darkness. Anyways, as you can see, you wanna take out the Ronso youth first. Heal most of the time with Riku. These guys have a few tricks up their sleeves, which I think he's pulling. Yep. So he is a mighty guard, but I actually think... Nah. I'm gonna use cripple. 
Instead, what we're gonna do is use a Dispel Tonic. Plus, of course, Darkness doesn't give a fuck. Darkness goes... Not Darkness. Okay. Um, yeah, Darkness. I keep confusing Darkness and Blind. Yeah, that dispelled it. I'll wait until I kill this Ronso youth. And then I'll turn my attention to Garrick. I don't really care that Riku is blinded, because she's going to be going healing most of the time. That is a problem. Oh no, it's not, because Darkness... yeah. Wait, does that not remove some stuff? Huh. Okay, is everyone blinded? We might be in, in trouble then. No, no, Yuna is still not. Yes, she is. So apparently, there's some stuff that this spell doesn't get rid of, which I was not aware of. Uh, yeah, let's try Cripple. I'm pretty sure that abilities have a 100% hit rate, rate. I'll try killing the other Ronso youth. Yeah, it's gonna miss. That These types of abilities have incredibly low, low hit rates. Okay, we really gotta... Okay. Is Garrick... Okay. Garrick is the only one not dead, I was gonna say. Okay, you go ahead and use Eye Drops. You go ahead and use a Dispel Tonic. It does get rid of some stuff, I know for a fact. And I think at this point, this is the time where Yuna can go Berserk. It at least gets rid of things like Remedy and stuff like that, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, Garrick on its own is not too much of a threat. Especially with this kind of offense. The problem is that uh, Berserker has pretty low accuracy anyways, so... Like, what can you do? Ah, uh, nah. We'll just go uh, attack. It's, she's gonna miss, but whatever. We might as well try. Did he mighty guard? Yeah, he did. Get the dispel tonic out. It definitely gets rid of. Oh, did it miss? Oh, because remedy was no longer active. Or not remedy. Uh, regen. What am I talking about? Hmm, this is gonna be... We'll remedy Yuna. I'm pretty sure that gets rid of... Uh, God damn, this guy in his mighty guard. He's a Ronso, of course, so... What can you expect? Ah, uh, no, we won't, we won't go. Wow, that does, like, no damage. Am I even able to uh, out-damage him? I don't know if I have anything that gets rid of positive statuses. That's why I wanted to get that cripple ability for Yuna. This is... Yeah, that's gonna miss, but I'll... If you know what, I'll try again. No, nah, not Remedy. No, nah, actually, yeah. It's stashed, so it doesn't matter. He's gonna, yeah, Mighty Guard. Okay, you know you're gonna have to use something. I don't think I have... Yeah, no, I don't have the Spell Tonics as items. Wow, Darkness is dealing low damage. This is one of those things, like, this is another one of those enemies that... whose defense increases as you start taking his HP down. Oh shit. Was not paying attention to pain. None of these are... Bio might work. She's blinded, you know what I mean. I should switch her to Mage. Now that I think about it. 
Yeah, that does work. Okay. Keep forgetting she's blinded. Oh, we're gonna be here a while, I think. Samurai. I should have placed these uh, garment grades or dress spheres differently. Ah, nah. We'll wait. No, not pain. There we go. Has he even taken damage from bio? I've not seen it. Anyways, we'll at least be able to deal some kind of offense. Sixty-two? Are you kidding me? He's not even shelled, is he? Yeah, mighty guard. I don't remember this guy being this annoying. Wish I had scan to see how much HP he has. What I think I should have done for is kill him first. He's eventually gonna go down. It's not the issue. It's just, I don't want this to be so boring. But it looks like that's what's gonna be happening. I'm gonna get ready a Dispel Tonic preemptively. Okay, Poison is doing most of the work. I don't think he got any benefit from Remedy, which is what I'm trying to achieve here. I do remember this fight being a little bit annoying, now that I think back. Maybe I should... Hmm, let's get a... I don't know what... I never know what to mix. Budget Grenade and S-Bomb. Let's see what that makes. Potato Masher. 700... Okay. Well, Riku. Thank you for that. That saved me a hell of a lot of time. Yeah, Mix is actually kind of useful offensively. Garrick, honor Yuna's wish, not go to battle. I never noticed how fancy the skybox is Garrick here. Not need thanks. Garrick underestimate Yuna. Garrick now understand he is weak in battle. Garrick, wait. Destroy Guado after he become better warrior. Damn, this guy is an idiot. Well, yeah, that was the mission. Yeah, what the hell is up with this skybox? It's like so much better looking than any other skybox in the game. So, yeah, we got the Wishbringer garment grid for that. I have no idea what that does. Now, where to next? We're gonna go to Bevel, I think. There is still one more side quest that I want to do before Valfor, and that is the Spear Break stuff, but that is... Let's just say that requires some preparation. Basically, Spear Break is kind of a math game, and to beat the final boss of the side quest, uh, it's really difficult. There are legit, like, math formulas online the detail, you know, what to do in each situation. And currently, I don't have one of those printed out. So, I'll need to do that before attempting that questline. I'll do that by the next episode. I just want to switch. How do you switch? I always forget. I know there's a way. Because I'm never gonna use fucking song stress. Yeah, rearrange, there it is. There we go. 
That's gonna be better. Is Yuna still learning the crackdown? Yeah, I was pretty close to it. That would have really helped in the Garrick fight, but we got to it in the end. As you saw, his defense increased anyways by default. And again, I've talked about this before. This is something they started doing with this game, but really kind of, I feel like, overdid in Final Fantasy XII, where the last quarter of a boss's life is just kind of a grind. You're just waiting for it to die because it just takes ages for that to happen. It takes so little damage. But yeah, they don't do it in this game as much. Oh yeah, and there is of course the other quest line, the Yojimbo one, which... I'll try clearing both of those out in the next episode. We're gonna go to Bevel right here. There is a mission here, or sort of an extra cutscene, which kind of reveals the story a bit. I don't remember how far in you have to go to the dungeons. I'm pretty sure you have to go where we fought Bahamut. So that's gonna take a while. Of course you need to visit these places as well for um, Shinra to place the calm spheres. Not that I'm gonna do that questline. So yeah, here we are back in Bevel. It's I do like that they let, let you at least explore this place. Wait, what the hell? Huh, is there... I thought they allowed you back in. Unless I'm confusing the chapters, which is very possible. Because I've been reading some of the walkthrough for this game, you know, just to remind myself of the details. We've never seen these types of guards before, like f female guards. It's interesting. Yeah, they're kind of pissed. It's okay, though. Can we actually leave through here? Because if I go back to Makalania Woods, that actually would make things a lot easier. Because I need to go to the Calm Lands as well. Did I just go back to Bevel? Oh, no, I, no, I didn't. I was like, if I go back to Bevel, it'd be so bad. I always get lost in this place, by the way. I want to get to the Calm Lands for the Calm Sphere. Is this it? To be honest, this looks exactly the same, except for the camera angle. They never, like, legit explain how exactly all these areas are connected. Oh well. What am I gonna do for the rest of this episode, though? No, we're at the Comlands. Okay, that's good. Not sure if this activates Shinra's... ...questline thing, though. Where he places the Calm Sphere. We'll find out in a bit, I guess. I'll use the hover to get to the agency. And then we'll warp out and I guess, because I've been to Xanarkand, haven't been to the Thunder Plains either. So we'll see, we'll see some new enemies at least. Or maybe if I don't warp, nah, actually. The, the Yojimbo stuff is going to be better for its own, not an own separate episode, but yeah. What I'll try doing is clear out the Spear Break stuff and uh, the Yojimbo stuff in the next episode. Because the thing about the Spear Break is if, you're no, if you know what to do, it's actually not that difficult. We won. It's just again, you have to have like basically a chart printed out with all the formulas and everything. Somehow I've never gotten into any one of these mini-games in Final Fantasies. You know, like Triple Triad, 
whatever that thing was called in Final Fantasy IX, Spear Break. I know some people are kind of like really into it. Uh, travel agency. Better be here, Shinra. Place that fucking calm sphere. He's not gonna, is he? You have to actually like warp here. Nah, I'm not gonna save. No, no, no. Don't want that. Can we buy stuff? Expensive high potions, right? Max HP by 40, max MP by 60. I already have one of these, don't I? Strength by 20. We want that. No, no, we want two of those actually. One for Yuna and one for Pain. Good thing I came here. Let's see, where is it? Power wrist. Cool. I'll keep on the... Uh, where is it? I'll keep on the angel earrings because that's pretty useful, you know? <laughs> it's so automatic. See a save point, try and save. But we want to board the airship. Well, that was a waste of time. I honestly thought the Bevel thing was in this chapter. Again, might be wrong. Alright, then let's go ahead and visit the Thunder Plains. There is something here, another kind of like, there is, I know, like a lightning rod calibration minigame. A pretty stupid one. But that's besides the point. At least he'll place the calm sphere. Never even been here. I think this is the point in the game where if I go back to the monster arena, which is now the Chocobo breeding ground or something, this is where Clasco will be able to give us Gissel Greens. I think the thing is, with that minigame, basically the idea is that you're g trying to breed chocobos. Anyways, we'll go to the travel agency. There's something there with Sid, if I remember correctly. These monsters, interestingly, have not leveled up. It's weird. But again, I don't think you ever come here for anything mandatory, except for a cutscene. Which is kind of weird. <laughs> wow, it's like... Yeah, it's kind of a massacre. And you can see by the reward, it's basically nothing. Like, we're, we're getting nothing. And yeah, as you can see, the lightning dodging thing is gone at this point. So we're just gonna walk, and... Shit, a Marlboro. Well, we'll see what we can do against a Mar Marlboro. Hopefully it's not gonna destroy me with fucking bad breath. Gastric juice. It's just poison, I think. Maybe not even that. Interesting. It doesn't seem to be too difficult. You can just wail on it. There are different levels of Mar Marlboro in this game. Just like in the previous one. There's one that always starts out with... Um, bad breath. So you better be protected against it. Which I'm not protected against shit. Right now. You pretty much need a ribbon to survive the higher level ones. That was at least worthwhile. There he is. 
Mr. Sid talking to a monkey, which is a little bit weird. Again, I'm showing these because these go by so quickly. At least Riku gets to shoot as well now. You didn't even get a chance in the previous battles. Good for AP again. I mean, in this chapter, this is probably the best AP grinding spot. Sit. These darn blasted things are ruining my business. At this rate, who knows when we'll be able to rebuild home? Well, that's what he's tr still trying to do. For now, why don't you join us on the airship? Uh, you really mean it? Nah, forget it. I'm not so down on my luck that I need help from you, you kids. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Well, there you have it. Let's go. Hmm, this isn't like him. Well, I've never seen this, by the way. Okay, well that was worthwhile, wasn't it? The lightning calibration might be a chapter 4 thing as well. I'm honestly... Like, I kind of like don't remember at this point. Isn't this guy one of the Besaid Aurax? Or something? Okay. Nothing. I mean the elemental protection stuff when there are two ring slots for each character. Like why would you ever want that? This has been a good excursion though. We learned a new ability for Yuna. And I actually want to check what everyone is learning. So she's learning unhinged. Damage one enemy and lower its accuracy in evasion. I'll, I'll take that. And Venom really like unstable if I remember correctly it doesn't work half of the time half of the time even less than that you're still learning mega phoenix you're actually getting pretty close after that I'll have her learn uh, ether is so like it's it's a lot probably X potion because ether is less useful and you're learning black sky damage all enemies this is good yeah black sky is a good ability if I remember correctly I guess she doesn't get blind. I don't know why I thought she gets blind. As an ability. Charon. Not that good. Poison proof. Okay. Curse proof. Okay. But Black Sky is good. Alright. Well. I guess this is going to be a shorter episode. Next up. We have two things to do. In the next episode. One Sphere Break. Which I'll get the chart. And second Yojimbo. I think I'll have time for both of those, and then we'll be able to go to Valfor. Because I'm pretty sure that after the Valfor stuff, you get locked into mandatory missions. So, want to clear out the side stuff before that. For now, however, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode. want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Final Fantasy X-2. Hope to see you next time. Goodbye.